corporate social responsibility means different things to different people. To us at the Baldota Group, corporate social responsibility is I believe the company has to be responsible to itself first. Then company should be responsible to its employees. The company should also be responsible to the society around it and then it should be responsible to the community at large. This is what I mean by corporate social responsibility. The first real imperative in the corporate responsibility sphere is to continue to run business as efficiently as possible, ensure it is competitive and performs with maximal effectiveness. We have been in the iron ore mining business for more than four decades and practice an open cast method of mining. We are sensitive to the nature of our business and its impact on various stakeholders and the environment. And all of us at MSPL are acutely aware of the responsibility that comes with it. Over the years, it has been our constant endeavor to synergize ecology and economy through innovative practices. We constructed a laboratory in our minds and did a lot of R&D. And we try to see that there is a zero waste of the mineral that we produce, of the mineral that we don't produce also. So now we are going to going ahead with a beneficiation plant wherein which the ore which is thrown out, which cannot be used, which is going to remain for years like that, we are going to beneficiate it from 35% Fe content to 65% Fe content. The sources of iron ore which are millions of tons will be billions of tons in course of time. So this is going to improve the economic wealth of the country. This is the benefit of our zero waste mining. At MSPL, we believe that not an ounce of natural resource should be wasted. And thus, we strive hard to discover diverse ways of putting it to productive use. We thought this iron ore also can be used for a better purpose. What can it do? So we did R&D and we came out with a product as sulphur sponge. Sulphur sponge can pure the water. Now we are carrying out the work in Bombay Municipal Corporation wherein which the sewage water can be converted into a good water. Our responsibility towards reducing our environmental footprint has taken form of various initiatives such as an investment in a downhill conveyor system which reduces the quantity of ore transported by road leading to reduced vehicular emissions and dust pollution. We have also put into operation an indigenously designed mobile diesel tanker to provide on-site refueling services to dumpers. The project helped us save over 1,50,000 litres of fuel in a year and avoid 390 tonnes of CO2 emissions. Solar lighting has been installed at our mines instead of conventional genset operated lighting. The resulting savings have been to the tune of 10,800 litres of diesel per annum and reduction of 28 tonnes of carbon dioxide. Instead of increasing road transport of ore, large investments have been made in railway rigs and allied support infrastructure for faster, safer and environmentally friendlier transportation of ore to the ports. As India gallops on the road of progress and accelerated growth, the need of the nation is energy. Developing new thermal generation facilities is becoming more and more difficult due to volatility of fuel supplies and global warming. The need of the hour is to augment our energy sources through renewable energy. Wind is one of those uh, focus areas. Uh, basically, if you see our organization is more about adding value to nature's resources. Wind encompasses a large perspective. When I say that uh, wind, we invest so that it's for the better future tomorrow. Uh, it's, I would say, more attributes to what is not that we create today, but what we refuse to destroy is more critical. And the investment in wind energy is basically an extension of how we care for a better planet. Today we have almost 200 megawatt producers in the country, the largest wind producer in the country. Not only that, what we are getting now with the CDM proposal has been approved by the United Nations 
is one of the largest in the world for wind. This is what we think we should do. And we have an object to have 400 megawatts of wind generation by 2010-2011. At MSPL, we regularly undertake several initiatives in the area of healthcare, education, infrastructure development and support to the needy. We strongly believe that a healthy and strong populace is a must to fuel the overall progress of the community. Unfortunately, till the year 2001, Hospet, a busy mining town with 16 operational mines, a pass through traffic of 61,000 vehicles every day, a tourist hub that welcomed 7 lakh tourists annually and a history of over 300 recorded accidents every year had no blood bank. We established a meticulously designed blood bank, incorporated all the good practices and now have a successful track record of serving the people of Hospet for the past five years. Because people used to suffer. Whenever they wanted blood, they used to go to Bellaria or Downgrad, the same thing. And the time taken is nearly two to three hours to get the blood from the uh, blood banks. So, meanwhile, the patient used to succumb to the diseases. That's why they have started this blood. In June 2006, the super speciality Abheraj Baldota Cancer Detection Center was inaugurated at the Institute of Advanced Endoscopy in Mumbai. Offered this endoscopic cancer detection technique at an extremely subsidized cost, which is lesser than the cost price of the procedure. And uh, I would like to give the entire credit to uh, Mr. Narendra Kumarji Baldota for having given us this donation for which countless number of these uh, poor patients have benefited. Along with healthcare, another of our focus area is education. We are convinced that education and only education has the power to catalyze true and sustainable societal development. We have started the mining in 1950, our company. Our, uh, the villages the uh, level was different, today is different. Even if you see the area, they don't have uh, education facilities at that time. They, sh they should go to district, uh, district uh, center only because of education facilities not available. Today if you go to um, even Dhanapur and Hanamanalli, you will get a good facilities. This is a computer. This Idan, ida, ida ra baga galu monitor, mouse, keyboard, CPU, speak box, speaker box. To encourage school education among village children, we undertake a massive notebook distribution program every year. Over one lakh notebooks are distributed annually across 85 schools. Women play an anchor's role in our society and women's empowerment is as vital for sustained and robust social transformation as education. Women-targeted initiatives thus hold a special place in MSPL's CSR programs. MSPL has taken the initiative to train rural women in the vocation skill of tailoring. This initiative of the company at its vocational training center at Hanumanahalli empowers women to become independent by acquiring new skills to earn livelihood and infuses them with confidence to face the world. class <laughs> Iba tailoring class nurse da gida, nau adrali seri tailoring tarbeti padnantra, nau nurunda nurayotro go sampatne marbodo sampatne marta di vaga nam namoyenista is the saider vela navesti navatonanga givi, apam anar sarisama dudianga givi. To improve social status of women, strengthen their economic position, increase their bargaining capacity and bring out their leadership qualities, MSPL has commenced a drive to form as many women SAGs as possible. We have promoted 30 self-help groups covering 477 families.
the goal is to bring women in the mainstream of the village development process. While selecting social development initiatives, we at MSPL follow a simple thumb rule. Need of the nation, need of the people. I read the article by Mr. Kalam, the President of India then, saying that if every industrialist in India takes up the responsibility of five villages around him, the country will be much, much better and everybody will be happy. And now that day itself, he decided, yes, we will take up five villages. As part of our adoption plan, we carried out a detailed baseline survey on existing conditions in these villages. We have gone to the villages and found out what they want. I have personally visited about five villages around Hospet. And I went to, went to the visit the, of the village and I saw the ladies coming to me and telling me, Sir, we want toilets. Gents coming to me and telling me, Sir, we would like to have this temple constructed, this temple renovated, uh, and uh, this the taluka office to be repaired, and something like that. Then I thought, what is the basic need? This is basic need of this village is the toilet. To correct this deficiency, 300 toilets are being constructed with active people participation to ensure proper utilization. My is Rajeshwari, Puru Hanumanali. I am working in the the Irinda Tumba sama sahaja ikan itu. Aga MSP lenuwa, anda company munda bandu. Ira ke pratiyondu mana gu pratiyondu hari kali gu, anda tu showchale, anda katisi kote dale. Awar ke tumba danna wada gado. Matte namma pratiyondu mana mana gu showchale, anda katisi kote ke matte nama danna wada gado. One world is all we have, and it is our duty to protect and nurture it. Our founder, Sri Abhayraj Baldota, was passionate about the environment and ingrained environmental care into the day-to-day -day working culture of MSPL, years before it became the buzzword in the corporate world. A strong advocate of afforestation, he ensured that major portion of mining land was converted to lush green forests through an incessant tree plantation drive, wherein over 17 lakh trees were planted. These green efforts have been recognized by the government and we have been awarded the Priyadarshini Vrikshamitra Award for the same. So technologies that we have today right from a jet fighter to a supersonic or to a simple computer, all these have been learned from something like an animal or an insect or a bird. What I want to encompass is nature is the only gift that we have and that being a gift, the protect to protect this gift is not only uh, a right that we, income, we should do, but also it will be a large interest of our education system where we imbibe our children to admire, to respect, at the same time to look after this planet. The idea is to bring them close to nature as possible, where they can start to sense, feel for a, nature, or for a plant or an animal or a bird. To create awareness about wildlife and nature among children who are the future custodians of our world, MSPL encouraged, supported and financed the formation of Society for Wildlife and Nature, that is SWORN. Under the aegis of Nature Club for School Children, SWORN has undertaken numerous activities. Uh, Baldota Group has supported our uh, nature clubs by providing binoculars and uh, LCD projector, camera and all other related material with the help of which we are conducting various awareness programs in schools and colleges. MSPL in association with AIR Hospet has also launched an infotainment program MSPL Hasire Usiru to create awareness on the environment among school children and the community at large. This is titled as MSPL Limited Hasire Usiru. In this program we are uh, teaching children regarding environment protection and uh, 
This is uh, having a very different kind of program and the format is also quite interesting. Here in this program, uh, children, they come to our studios, they participate in this program and uh, we go to schools, there some experts will be with us. They speak to children regarding uh, wild animals and uh, birds, um, water um, pollution and uh, kitchenette gardening like this uh, subjects related to protection of environment. At MSPL, corporate social responsibility is as ongoing as our business endeavours. Our future plans include Almost every house will have a toilet. There will be sufficient water available. Sanitation is good. There will be trees planted in and around the houses in these villages. We will see that these become villages become ideal villages and the people living are happy. And likewise, we will adopt more and more villages in time to come.